Good evening. I'm Patrick Doherty. I'm Patrick Gamini. And this is the English News on Cable News. So, Patrick, how are you this fine evening? I'm good, thank you. Good. A little bit get better. Good, yes. <laughs> Patrick has been fighting a pretty nasty flu. I am glad to hear that you're feeling yeah, better. I feel good too. Good. Plenty of bed rest and water will cure almost anything, right? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Well, we've got a couple of interesting weeks here in Thailand. We just had the plowing day ceremony, mm -hmm. which was today. The farmers uh, started started planting their crops, and yes. we'll go ahead and speak a little bit about that yes. um, later. One thing that I learned was that the plowing ceremony has sacred oxen, mm -hmm. and the things that the oxen choose, yep. you know, have important meaning for people yes, and sir. and for the planting season. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I was speaking with a couple of Friends, and we learned that in China mm -hmm. and in South Africa, the swallows returning are the sign to start planting crops. It's kind of same same story. Mm -hmm. It's good if the cow or ox right. choose something good, so people will feel better. Or feel Very good interesting. That. I do love ceremonies. Yeah. And speaking of festivals and holidays, we have one coming up on the 24th. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Visakha Buddha Day. That's right, Visakha mm -hmm. Buddha Day, and that is the big Buddha Day. Yeah, yes? big Buddha Day that mm -hmm. the Buddha was born mm -hmm. and he became to the Buddha. And That's right. He became enlightened. Yeah. That's right. And That's just right. the same day that he died. And that's on the 24th, so that's coming right around. And mm -hmm. if you go to the mall, upstairs in the mall, they are having uh, big mm, activities. activities about mm -hmm. Visakha Buddha Lots Day. Lots of things to do over there, and I'm sure that people who uh, trust in the Buddha, they that's will right. go there to do the good thing Certainly, there. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been hot, that's no surprise. We'll certainly talk a little bit about the drought, mm -hmm. touch on some meth trades, as yes. well as the H7N9 virus, mm -hmm. and a competition for kids um, for to compete for Asian. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. All right, well, let's get to it then. Today is National Plowing Day, and many farmers took this chance to start sowing their rice. They believe that the royal plowing ceremony this morning blesses their lives and families. Today, farmers and gardeners at Midapop Soy 4 community started their farming and gardening by sowing rice and preparing their land. The farmers believe that it is the right time to start sowing rice on National Plowing Day. They all hope their products will sell well this year. This year, the sacred oxen of the Royal Plowing Ceremony selected a two meter long length of fabric, which means there will be lots of water and some damages might occur on lowland paddies, and also chose corn, which means crops will be prosperous this year, and grass, which means there will be plenty of water. So that's nice to hear that the oxen, the sacred oxen chose grass. That is a good um, foretelling, a good auspice, I mm -hmm. guess you could say, because we do need lots of water. Yeah, lots of mm -hmm. water because we like got drought for yeah. a long time. Everywhere. Uh -huh. That's right. That's good news. You can see that's a pretty effective way of planting rice, just mm -hmm. going out there and throwing it in there. Pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, so the season is, is uh, kind of changed now. That's right. Some hot or uh, raining. A little bit of rain, a like little bit of heat. Sure. Yeah, and now we have a new virus oh. has come to Thailand. It's from China or something like that. Mm. I'm not sure. You know, the Ministry of Public Health is following the H seven N nine prevention and control measure, even though there has been no cases found in Thailand yet. The H seven N nine virus was is still undergoing undergoing the World Health Organization report on the situation in China and Taiwan. As of May 7, 2013, 31 out of 130 cases were fatal. Were fatal. Dr. Vishay Khatiya Vitya Gun, a doctor from the Kondratasima Office of Public Health, said that the Ministry of Public Health is following the S7N9 prevention and control measure even though uh, there has been no cases found in Thailand yet. He has been directing local clinics and hospitals, both public and private, to prepare the unexpected situations of H9, oh, sorry, H7N9 virus, especially in um, <coughs> pneumonia patterns if they travel mm. aboard. That's right. And so this H7N9 in nine virus? Yes, mm -hmm. and just come into contact with some poultry, poultry they could chickens. easily get infected. Mm. So the Thai, the Thai government is strictly following the measures that have been implanted to prevent this H7N9 virus. <coughs> because in China, 
Mm -hmm. um, 31 out of the 130 contacted or contracted cases proved to be fatal. Mm -hmm. And that's 23 to 24%, it's like 23.9%. So that's mm -hmm. quite a high rate of fatality. Yeah, it just changed mm -hmm. from S5 in one. That's right. And now the virus is just more strong or just stronger than stronger. before. Stronger, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's mutated into a stronger avian virus. So just be aware, take mm -hmm. care of yourselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. be careful, don't touch the <coughs> Uh, chicken or something like that. Don't if you have the, some chickens. chicken die mm -hmm. in your farm, you need to clean it good. You know, mm. don't touch it. Mm. Well, that's that's absolutely true. Yeah. Well, speaking of um, chickens, the Ministry of <laughs> Interior's minister and his cabinet visited Mukdahan Province for drought information and relief. Mr. Jaropong Rung Sawan. The Minister of the Ministry of Interior and his cabinet traveled to Muktahan province to learn more about the drought problem, garner information, and discuss special ec economic zone establishment. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sakan Sarit Boon Praditum, Muktahan's governor, gave information on the drought problem and other disasters in the past months. 98% of Muktahan province is suffering from the drought disaster. The three dams of the province are holding less than 20% of their capacity. Local administrations help residents with water by sending water trucks and creating a water bank. The cabinet also discussed the, with the governor about the special economic zone establishment as Muktahan province is connected to Lao People's Democratic Republic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good that Sukun Sreed Bun Pradit, he's the governor of Muktahan, who just go out Excuse there me. and taking care of people with drought. I think that's a good thing to do, you know, and mm. we will get or like become to the rain season soon, mm. the raining season. Well, mm -hmm. and also the sacred oxen of the plowing day did choose grass, so mm -hmm. there should be plenty of water. Hopefully Muktahan will be <coughs> relieved soon. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel that maybe I've been contracting the H7N9 <laughs> virus now that we've chatted about it. You have it. to Pardon check me. your body Goodness then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the other story, the director of Irrigation Office Region 8, Nakhon Rajasima Province, reassure residents about water supply during this month. There will be enough water for, uh, for about 1,100 acres of rice paddy. Mom Luang Anuma Tong Tam, the director of Irrigation Office Region 8, Nakhon Rajasima Province, as as sure residents about water supply during this month, rain helps freshen up farm and garden in the area, but it does not help much with irrigation. <coughs> the irrigation office region 8, Nakhon Rajasima province plans are flex uh, flexible. Residents can be sure there will be enough water for about 1,100 acres of rice paddy. Here is information about five in irrigation projects in the province. One, <coughs> Lam Takong Dam has 76.6 million cubic meters of water or 24% of the dam. Lam Prapong Dam has 15.6 million cubic meters of water or 14% of the dam. Ram Mun Bon Dam has 38.2 million cubic meters of water or 27% of the dam. Lam Sha Dam has 87, eight, uh, seven, 87 0.8 million cubic meter and Lam Primat Dam has 47.7 .7 million cubic meters of water or 48% of the dam. Mm. Mm. And as you can see there, that should be full of water. Instead, it's full That's of from grass. Lam the Kong Dam, Lam just Kong no dam. water over mm. there. Mm -hmm. So, but 1,100 acres of rice will be taken care of, um, mm -hmm. you know, and they've, they've also said that they're flexible with their water supply delivery. So, you know, people can remain cautious, but not too pessimistic about things. Mm. Okay, so we need to do a quick commercial break. Please stay tuned. There will be more after this. ก่อนลูกวัดผ่านสะดือจะต้องไม่เกินส่วนสูงหารสองเกินอ้วนลงพุงโรคเพียบยังไงแม่นั่นไงเห็นไหมไขมันอุดตันเส้นเลือดหมดแล้ววัดรอบพุงให้รู้ตัวด่วนน่ากิน
ติดพุงถ้าจะกินต้องลดพุงก่อนยังไงแม่เลือกกินลดทอดลดมันเพิ่มผักผลไม้ไม่เอาไข่เจียวขาหมูมีไหมจากยี่ห้อทอดอร่อยไหมเลือกกินลดพุงลดโรคขั้นตอนสุดท้ายของการลดพุงแกว่งแขนยังไงแม่ขาเท่าไหร่แกว่งแขนไปข้างหลังให้สุดแกว่งมาข้างหน้าให้ผ่อนเริ่มแกว่งแขนหนึ่งในวิธีลดพุงแต่ถ้ามีพื้นที่มากควรเลือกการเดินไม่มีพุงแล้วกินได้เลยไหมแม่ได้เลยลูกไม่อ้วนลงพุงออกมาแล้วชีวิตก็รอปลอดภัยมาถึงช่วงของการเล่นเกมของเราเรื่องแรกครับเรียกว่าเกมที่เราชอบมากที่สุดก็คือเกมเล่น The Department of Health urges primary school, high school, and undergraduate students to send their paintings, video clips, and animations titled "No Teen Mom for Asian." The winner gets a prize of 100,000 baht. There are three categories for this competition: one, paintings; two, video clips; and three, animations. All media should cover or present teen mother problems and prevention, as well as proper education about sex. Pratham 4 through 6 and Matiam 1 through 3 students are eligible to send their paintings, painted with any kind of medium except for oil paint, for a 30,000 baht prize. Pratham 4 through 6, Matiam 1 through 6 students and undergraduate students are eligible to send their video clips for a 60,000 baht prize. Matiam 1 through 6 and undergraduate students are eligible to send their animations in for a 100,000 baht prize. More information and application forms can be downloaded at www.anamai.moph.go.th. Submissions can be sent by themselves or through the postal service from now until June 21st, 2013 at the Department of Reproductive Health, Building 2, Floor 3, Department of Health, Ministry of Public Health, Tiwanon Road, Muang Nantaburi, 11000. And we'll make sure to have this address as well as the website available for you at mm -hmm. our Facebook page, which is just English News, um, KCTV English News. No, English News on Cable News. Mm, I'm not very good with Facebook, but you can just <laughs> go ahead and hop on Facebook in the search bar, type in English News on Cable News, mm -hmm. and we'll make sure to have this address and website available for you. Mm -hmm. And again, this is just to educate people about dangers of teen pregnancy, as well as how it really changes your life, you know. And so, if you have any student, Pratham 4, all the way through undergraduate, if they're yeah. good with painting, mm -hmm. if they have a nice touch with the video clips, or if they're even skillful enough to create an animation, you should encourage them. They could yeah. win up to a 100,000 baht prize. That's good. Very That's a good cool. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the other story happened in Smut Prakan. Two teenagers asked a transsexual out after meeting each other at Carrogate Place. Afterward, the transsexual victim got beaten up and robbed by those two teenagers. Hmm. บางเสาธง Regional Police and p r o t e c t i n g Volunteers visit หมู่บ้านไทยปราการ on t e p a r a k Road in อำเภอบางเสาธง of s m u t p r a k a n Province after a transsexual was beaten up and robbed by two teenagers. At the crime scene, a transsexual victim was found sitting inside his Honda Civic car with his black and blue face. Officer provided first aid, first aid and sent him to Bangpu Hospital. The victim is Mr. p i t h a y a p i c h a l e l e r p a n 33 years, originally from Bangpu s a m u t p r a k a n Province. He said he met those two boys at a k a l o g a t e place. 
those good looking boys asked him to do continue par partying at the some place in Muban Chai Prakan. Once he got there, they both beat, uh, uh, beat him up and took his cash about 7,000 baht. Currently, they are still on a run. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to trust people, huh? <clears throat> you never like to hear or read about stories of people taking advantage of other people. Mm. So that is that is too bad. I feel my heart goes out to Mr. Boy, that's a tough name. Pit, Pichaya Picha. Pichaya Picha. Mm -hmm. mm, I feel I feel I feel sorry for him. That's yeah. too bad. Yeah, too bad. I'm sorry that that happened. Mm -hmm. Speaking of things that I wish hadn't happened. Um, Sirachau Regional Police arrested, arrested a rescue ambulance team of Suwang Pratip Foundation for meth trade. 500 meth pills were found hidden on them. Officer Chat Chai Bai Yai, a crime suppression police officer, commanded General Tina Korn Jung Pon, an assistant crime suppression police officer, to arrest Mr. Apisit Yad Samer, a 16 year old rescue man who works for a rescue ambulance team of Sawang Pratip Foundation. They, were, they arrested him over meth. Over 400 meth pills were hidden inside his ambulance. Officers and Mr. Warwit Jerome Suntisuk, one of the team members, inspected an apartment at Oraya Apartment and found more meth pills, a gun, some bullets, and a radio phone to track police's movement. The apartment belongs to Mr. A and his wife, but they were gone before police arrested the rest of the team. Two other team members were charged for meth trade, and officers will soon arrest Mr. A and his wife once they are found. Mm. A, you know, this is, a, this is a group that's supposed to help people yeah. and is supposed to take care of people who are hurt and injured, and instead they're selling meth, which mm -hmm. of course leads to more pain and more injuries. Yeah, it's oh, kinda, that's very disappointing. It's a little bit bad with the van who take uh, people who got hurt to the mm -hmm. hospital. They hire meth into the pillow, ambulance. Yeah, like that. In the ambulance itself. Oh, look, brass knuckles as well. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. brass knuckles, some rounds. Money. Money, and there's the police scanners that they use. So they use those as well to find accidents that they can go and help people who are hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks like they got some meth there. Oh, wow. Too bad. Hmm. Okay, so the last story for tonight. Uh, Udon Thani police arrested one of six thieves who stole things at a famous shopping center in Udon Thani province. The race of them show uh, somehow escape. General Kajan Rit Wong Rat, a vice director of Udon Thani police investigation division, and his team arrested one of six thieves who stole things at a famous shopping center in Udon Thani province. Her name is Miss Sarita Chun Chom, just 23 years old. Miss Wanipa Kotami, a department store salesperson, said that she noticed a sus suspicion of this gang from footage. They worked as a team and they took goods from the department store without a payment. She told security guard to stop them at the exit, but it was too late. As Miss Salita is pregnant, she could not run fast enough and got arrested at, le at last. That's terrible. Yeah. She's pregnant mm -hmm. and she was caught in a, a shoplifting yeah, game. Because she cannot run, follow the team, her team. You know, it's kind of bad. That is. Well, we ended on a few sour notes, but do remember, you know, we have the Asian No Team Mom competition for your kids, mm -hmm. um, which is very nice, as well as the SWAT Cats. To end on a pleasant note, the SWAT Cats just recently this weekend defeated Suzuki FC from Sira Cha, mm -hmm. score of two to nil. So that's three points for the SWAT Cats, and we'll see them rocket up the board yeah. quite soon. They will try to turn to Thai Premier League now. Absolutely. Let's cheer them up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't forget to give us for more information. Just come to visit or whatever you want. Just go to Facebook and type on English News on Cable News. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the time that we have for tonight. I'm Patrick Doherty. I'm Patrick Gamani. Stay safe. Karate.